What's going on everyone? Today is July the 21st, 2023. We're here to talk about Rivian. Yes, we're going to show you just by looking at the price chart that the stock is still a buy. Yes, we're not going to talk about no fundamental analysis. We're not going to talk about no earnings. We're not going to talk about no stochastics, no MACDs, nothing of the sort. We're just going to look at the price bars and the volume to make that determination because everyone who participates, to those who are new, I know a lot of people who follow my channel for a while, they already know this. But every market participant that comes in and buys or sells a stock is recorded. And we're seeing individuals' perception as to what they value. When they come in and buy a stock at a certain price, they're saying that there's value at that price, meaning it's cheap. And that price, at some point in time, is going to go higher from where I bought it. That is what they consider value. But to the seller, the ones who's selling at a price, they're trying to say that the value is is too expensive and that price is going to go lower. This is where the imbalance occurs in the stock market. This is where our opportunity to make money comes is by everyone's bias perception of price and however they come up with their biases. I could care less whether they use fundamental analysis whether they listen in on earning calls, mergers, acquisitions, whether they look at the macroeconomic environment, it doesn't matter to me on how they derive their bias. I just want to see the action. I just want to see them hit that buy button or that sell button because it's recorded on the charts. That's why price chart is the only thing we need. It's the playing field. Price is the only thing that everybody has access to and no insider information. Everyone sees price. So let's look at it. I did a video in Rivian on June, July the 16th, okay, five days ago. And I said, I'm going to wait because I want to get confirmation that buyers were still buying Rivian at this horizontal line charts don't lie it doesn't lie and after I did the video on July the 16th okay which is right here what has happened to the price since then these three trading days the 18th 19th and the 20th has price gone below 24 bucks I told you that $24 is where the answer lies. We have seen out of all of these trading days, price in Rivian hold. Someone is holding Rivian, meaning they're buying Rivian. Because, like I said, they have a bias that price is cheap here. People won't buy and hold the market for all of these trading days if they didn't suspect price was going to go up. Somebody is suspecting that price in Rivian is going to is going to go up. Somebody. Because they're deploying actual resources in the form of money to do just that. That's how I know that this stock is still a buy. Now, even though we can see that the market is still bullish in Rivian and it's taking a pause right now. It doesn't mean that the market is going to run to $65. Like, let's pull these things back. Let's keep it real. Whoever is buying Rivian here at 24, maybe they'll let it go at 30. Maybe they'll let it go at 25. It all depends on how much they're buying here and how much their goal of profit is going to be. But yeah, this daily chart, I already can tell that the market in Rivian is bullish. And that the market is still a buy. Take a look at on the two day. On the two day chart, we've seen indicated indications that selling has gone on, right? And at the conclusion of this current two day price bar, if we see the market in Rivian close to the high end of the bar, this market definitely is still bullish. And my next target is going to be twenty eight dollars. That is going to be my next target. And then like 29 50 maybe 30 for my second okay here it is on the three day chart here it is on the five and the weekly 
Okay, so I'm already through, you know, five minute video. Real quick look at the market tells us that this market is still bullish in Rivian. My only concern is right here on August the 4th. I mean, not August the 4th, August the 8th is when earnings is due to come out. We've already seen this stock from June the 26th to the high run 100%. We've already seen seen a 100% increase in this stock's value. So the sooner we get to earnings, like don't be surprised if the market comes back down. Don't don't even do it. Even if the earnings comes out positive, when you see a stock run 100% in a couple of weeks, you'll be crazy to think that people will not sell that. Okay, so let me go ahead and put this back on the daily time frame and we're going to play the strength into the market for Rivian. And the sooner and the closer that we get to earnings, the more cautious I'll be uh, on how high price is going to go for Rivian. Okay. And that first target was at, let me see, 28 dollars. That is around 8.46%. And then second target like 29.50. Okay, 29.47. But those are my two targets right now to the market in Rivian. Everything's going to be contingent on price holding 24 bucks. Okay. Now I'm going to give a cushion to 22.50. I'll do that. Your turn. You're up. Give me your price prediction. Make sure you maintain your profitability and trade different. 